So probably you were asking what's vapor quality, we've seen it before, uh, but only S quality or vapor quality is the same. The, we use this when we use a vapor liquid mixture and we call it very commonly wet vapor. When we say a wet vapor it contains of course water or liquid and the vapor phase of course the gas. The definition, the formal definition whenever I say what is the vapor quality or the quality of the vapor or the percentage of that wet vapor, I'm going to be using, or essentially we're going to be using, X value and the total amount of vapor versus the total amount of mixture. This includes, of course, the mass of liquid and the mass of vapor. This is the same as this, we're just including the liquid. And it makes a lot of sense, or at least to me it makes a lot of sense. If you have, I don't know, if you have 100 grams, of mixture, you pour them and you close the system, you start uh, adding heat and etc. You uh, you change the boiling point, uh, sorry not the boiling point, you're changing, you're adding energy, energy, molecules are going to be evaporated and eventually after the experiment is done you get that this amount of liquid previously was 100 grams and now it's 57 grams of liquid. Let's calculate the quality of that vapor. So X will be, how do we get the difference? Well, essentially, we have 43 grams on the vapor. It's just 100 minus 57 grams. And the total amount, you could either use 43 plus 57, but I think it's better to use the initial amount, it's faster. So you will have 100 grams. Do that calculation, which is relatively easy. And you get 42% is my vapor quality. And what does that mean? Is essentially you have 43% of vapor in the mixture. So I bring you one example. What is the quality of liquid vapor mixture? If there is a total amount of 123.6 kilograms of water, that's important, water, and we boil it until 87.5 kilograms of that liquid are gone to vapor phase. So let's do it, our definition of Vapor quality is essentially the amount of vapor divided by the amount of the mixture or the total amount. Uh, let's calculate the mass of vapor. It will be essentially if we boil and the remaining liquid is 85.6 kilograms. So 85.6 kilograms is liquid. Therefore, if we subtract that from the total, you will get the amount of vapor. So you get 38 kilograms of vapor. Now it's just about plugging numbers. Let's plug it here, 38 kilograms of vapor, divided by the total amount, which is 123.6 kilograms. Even though it's the water, we're supposing that at the beginning we got 100% water and we boil it. Okay, so if they didn't, they didn't tell you, it will be kind of difficult to know if this water is the total amount or it's just the amount of water in that mixture. What we're going to suppose right now, that this is the total amount of water that we boil and we boil about 38 kilograms so doing this division you get 0.37 or 3307 or if you change it to percentage it's 30.7 essentially about 31 percent of that or one third of that mixture will be vapor What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. So 
Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.